Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch to React. Long time no seeing you guys, but now we are back. And great news, Sketch to React 1.6.8 is now 100% free of charge. You can just sign up here and you will get a download email here sent to you. It works with the latest Mac OS Catalina version and it works with the latest Sketch version 62. How awesome is that? So, today I'm going to do something that I have been meaning to do for a while. Uh, so, say that you don't have time. Of course, we never have time, uh, but you want to maybe impress your developers or just uh, impress your stakeholders and say, look at me, I created a prototype in React. Uh, but you don't have the time to do uh, it properly. Uh, for example, something like this would take ages to do if you would create all the components uh, and everything would be code. But we can do stuff anyway, we can cheat. Let's learn how to cheat in Sketch to React. And get stuff out anyway. So this is going to be just uh, 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 pointers, stuff you can do to just like uh, really, really as quick as possible uh, create something uh, that comes out in code. And of course, quick is maybe not the right word here because when you think about quick, maybe you think about how it is to usually create prototypes in. Very easy to use tools like Envision or the built-in tool in Sketch. This is not that. This is, takes a bit longer, but on the other hand, you output real code here uh, that you can do other stuff with. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so here we have, I have taken this from the Cabana design system. Uh, it's an awesome design system. Uh, by created by Mark Andrew. He has made this amazing design system with lots and lots of really beautiful components that you can override, uh, do millions and trillions of stuff with, make them your own. But say that this is our, this is a very simple uh, thing, just two artboards. I'm not going to spend forever with this tutorial. I'm just going to show you pointers. So, let's start. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't make sound. Okay. So, uh, let's say that this is our design. We spent ages with this and now we're really happy with it. So, how do we start? Well, first of all, you know, page one, this is not going to work, so start here. And uh, this is, uh, for some reason, we uh, named this uh, blog app uh, one. Uh, this will not work, so we need to rename this one start. This is the quirks of our tool, how it works. So, let's save this now and put it somewhere where I can find it, actually. Nothing happens, of course. Uh, I mean, it doesn't crash. So that is great. Uh, we have not activated anything in here. So, okay, this is one group here. Let's just try and create and make this one uh, an SVG image. Just so you have everything grouped here and just make exportable. And I have predefined SVG as my preset. Let's save and let's see what's happened. Nothing happens there. Let's try and relink the document and see if this works. No, it doesn't work. I think the name here is the wrong thing. It, uh, it has spacing, uh, spaces between. Uh, let's just call this one article one. Let's save. Let's go back and relink again like that and see if this works. 
There it is. So we learned here some things. We learned that we cannot have spaces in the name here. Let me zoom in. Uh, this is not good. This is awesome. And we learned also that you can uh, SVG is a great format because it's vector uh, all the way. Uh, everything looks neat and nice. Uh, no, let's just make the tab bar. Okay, so uh, to take away the spacing be between the words there, uh, let's make this exportable. And let's see that. Yeah, there it is. Let's save. And remember, every time we add a new SVG, a new image, you actually need to relink the file. It's a bit tedious, but you get used to it actually. Like that. There we have our tab bar, and here it's our uh, it's our card. Okay, so uh, of course the tab bar is not nothing uh, distributed, nothing like it is in here. But let's take that stuff later. So uh, let's try and see what happens uh, with this card that is like hidden in a way. Uh, let's see what happens. I have actually not tried this yet to add something exactly. It would add it like this. And I don't know if we want this to be like this. So let's take that away. And let's just make the artboard higher uh, so we can include so we can have everything here uh, and this is just a sake uh, this is just for our prototype or just to have this neat and nice inside sketch uh, as you can see here it doesn't matter where you have them on the artboard uh, they show up in code anyway as you know this the distribution of the things here is how it ends up in sketch to react so but first of all, let's add another card. Article 2, let's do it like that. This looks neat and nice. Let's save and relink inside the app. Like that. Boom shakalak. And it should appear there. Awesome. So, we have two cards and a tab bar. Let me take a little break. So, I'm back. Okay. So here we are, uh, this is how it, this looks in a browser um, and you enable this, this feature with uh, going to public preview here and just uh, launching it. And open in a browser, you can also look at this in your mobile, on your mobile phone. Uh, so, where to go from here? So we have cards here, we have our nav bar, uh, we need to add a few other stuffies here. So uh let me just do this quick and i will be right back so i have added everything here and it's a mess of course you can see this uh, if we make this uh, like this it will be a bit uh, tidier uh everything is like in the wrong place blah 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 you know uh i said i told you this would not be super quick okay this is not magic Okay, so let's just tidy things up. I need to stop saying that word, actually. On top, we want to have this one. Yeah, it's there on top. Awesome. Uh, then we want the text. And this one, I actually add it as a regular text. Just uh, So this one is just a text component. And let me see it we need to put it exactly it should be up here uh, so text comes after the nav bar top like that it's a lot of back and forward if you have a second screen this is uh, goes way faster and then we want to have the tab navigation thing so we just put it there and we want to have this one coming before that one and then article 2 and then tab bar at the bottom like that so now when it reloads it should be the correct order of thingies and we can look in chrome and reload here and see how this one looks 
exactly. Nice. So one thing you may have noticed now is that actually uh, if you do like this, uh, they spread out. And this is cool because you can also create with just uh, a couple of settings uh, using columns uh, and rows. You can do a lot of cool stuff here and actually show how it would maybe uh, uh, be designed on a laptop or a tablet screen. This is one of the great things about Sketch React. You have a lot of flexibility. So, okay, cool. Let's, but let's for now just try to make this one mobile only. Uh, so let's look at how it looks right now. Uh, this is the, we have two views here. You can mobile view and this is like the standard view. So uh, it looks like this right now. Let's put everything into a container like that. Let's just take everything like that, group it and call this one container. Let's save and zoom out and check out how this looks in code. Awesome. So now you have everything is inside a container, which is awesome because we, right now we want it like that. Uh, you get some padding here, as you can see in this view. So let's, as you see here, we have a lot of margins here. So let's create, let's put this into this nav bar into a row. Like that, we write row. So like that, let's put this one into another row. Row, and let's put this one inside another row. Like that, let's check out how this is going. Exactly. So when you put things inside rows, you actually uh, lose the, the margin from the container. You can fix this with putting things into columns uh, later. So let's do like this. Uh, we have another row here. Row, no, I did that wrong. Let's zoom in. Uh, you can just copy paste like that. Important that you group this one here and then put this into a row like that. And let's do the same there. Group and put this into row. So we have everything, all the SVGs and the text elements here, we have them in rows now. Let's check this out again that we, so we can see how it is, looks good. One important thing to know is sometimes when you relink the sketch file, uh, especially with images, SVGs or images, uh, everything do doesn't reappear uh, at once. Sometimes you need to relink the, the, the sketch file one more time. This is due to how uh, Sketch exports SVGs. What we have done, what we do in, in the background right now is each time you, you add an SVG or an image, uh, we save it. And sometimes uh, the link between the sketch file, which is live linked into our app, uh, gets uh, a bit confused. So you need to just go here and link again. So let's, uh, this is nice. Let's see what happens if we put this one, this one, into a column. So, curly brackets and you use right call. Ah, look at this. It jumped in. Really nice. Let's put the text into a column. I group it and then I do this and I write call. Huh? Like that, nice. And then 
This one also has padding on the size margins, so let's put this into a column also. You can see here, if we would want this to be like without any margins, we just uh, leave it like this inside a row. But we want it to jump in, so let's just put this inside, uh, inside a column. Like that. So this one should be called call. Like that, let's check out I do this all the time back and forth uh, it jumped in really nice let's just take away this view so we can uh, save some uh, memory and let me put the other things inside columns and I'll be back really soon okay so I have done a couple of things I put in a background uh, a white background and I also added some custom CSS here. Look at how it looks in a browser. So uh, if you can see here, the bottom navigation here is sticky. So this is one of the strengths with Sketch to React. You can actually add anything with CSS. So this one here, this one, I, I put this inside a container. And it's using the class footer, which I made. And I just googled something and I found it. And this is the only thing you need here. Uh, the absolute position and bottom is zero. I found it here. Uh, it's the, actually the bootstrap documentation. Sticky footer with fixed navigation navbar. I just right clicked on the thing here and I went to the CSS file and I just extracted the thing that I thought would be needed so uh, actually this only this was needed the cool thing now is that you have you see that the the bottom bar is uh, transparent you can see that of course uh, when scrolling you don't get maybe the effect you want but this is a prototype so this is a way of overlapping stuff uh, with CSS so let me see now it's starting to look really nice let's reload the live preview thingy here cool we have our bottom nav there and this looks good ah. Yeah, one thing. So say that, uh, I mean, things change, of course. Uh, say that you change texts, uh, whatever. You need to re-export the SVG again. So that is one very handy thing to remember. Uh,